डियर स्टूडेंट सत श्रीकाल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर प्रजेंटिंग ए वीडियो ऑफ क्लास इलेवन सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर साइंस टर्म टू सिलेबस रिविजन इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव रिवाइज लेसन वन टू लेसन एट बाय आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ वन वन मार्क्स फोर फोर मार्क्स एंड सिक्स सिक्स मार्क्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिलेबस सो लेट अस नाउ हैव ए लुक एट द कंप्यूटर साइंस सब्जेक्ट पेपर पैटर्न so as you can see in this table 50 marks are distributed according to the paper pattern in this table first of all we look at the total marks column in which the marks are distributed from lesson 1 to lesson 8 according to this pattern a paper of 6 marks will come from lesson number 1 that is web designing with html and similarly a paper of 6 marks will come from lesson number 2 that is usage of internet and so on so similarly if we talk about one one marks questions so there are 18 questions of one one marks will come from all the lesson mentioned here similarly four marks questions will come from all the other lesson except lesson number 3 lesson number 4 similarly question carrying 6 marks each will come from lesson number 3 and lesson number 6 so now we start revising the question answer of all these lesson so let's get started so we will now learn about multiple choice question so each questions carrying one one marks so the first question is we can locate a job on dash and the options are newspaper internet both a and b or none of these and the right answer is we can locate a job on both a and b second one is the collection of information which is accessed by the internet and the options are data information world wide web and the last one is web and the right answer is the collection of information which is accessed by the internet is called world wide web and third one is these searches are useful when we don't know the full text of a quote and the options are wild card operator image and the last one is news and the right right answer is wild card searches are useful when we don't know the full text of a quote and the fourth one is it is a photo and video sharing social media app and the options are facebook instagram both a and b and the last one is none of these and the right answer is both a and b is a photo and video sharing social media app and fifth one is it is the most popular product of google and the options are bing.com google.com wikipedia.com and the last one is yahoo.com and the right answer is google.com is the most popular product of google sixth one is cyber world is it taken among which of three and the options are cyber crime cybernetic cyber attack and the last one is cyber security and the right answer is cyber word it taken among from cybernetic word and the seventh one is copying and selling of software or any computer based material is known as dash and the options are phishing stalking piracy and the last one is hacking and the right answer is copying and selling of software or any computer based material is known as piracy eighth one is a malware which act like a spy in computer system and the options are spyware computer virus adware and the last one is ransomware and the right answer is a malware which act like a spy in computer system is called spyware ninth one is which type of security technique which convert password to special sign and the options are so strong password firewall digital signature and the last one is encryption and the right answer is encryption type of security technique which convert password to special sign and tenth one is it act 2000 is known by which another name and the options are it act 2008 it act 2000 third one is information set and last one is income tax act and the right answer is it act 2000 is also known by ITA 2000 and 11th one is an electronic environment in which 
internet users communicate with each other and your options are world wide web internet cyberspace and the last one is cyber cafe and the right answer is an electronic environment in which internet user communicate with each other is called cyberspace and 12 one is dash is a process by which a computer program is altered or updated after it has been released and the options are software maintenance hardware maintenance corrective maintenance and the last one is preventive maintenance and the right answer is software maintenance is a process by which a computer program is altered or updated after it has been released 13 one is in computing dash is the process of starting a computer and the options are safe mode booting starting and the last one is login and the right answer is in computing booting is the process of starting a computer 14th one is which of the following is not a type of computer port and the options are ethernet ps2 port vga and the last one is printer and the right answer is printer is not a type of computer port 15th one is dash security tool is built into the latest version of windows and helps guard our pc against viruses and other malware and the options are antivirus malware window defender and the last one is d fragmenter and the right answer is window defender security tool is built into the latest version of windows and helps guard our pc against viruses and other malware 16th one is dash software which act as an interface between the end user and computer hardware and the options are window defender file compression utility operating system and the last one is security tool and the right answer is operating system is a software which act as an interface between the end user and computer hardware 17 one is set of instruction is called dash and the options are group software program and the last one is none of these and the right answer is set of instructions is called program 18th one is which language is directly understood by computer without any translation and the options are procedure oriented language machine language assembly language and the last one is high level language and the right answer is machine language is directly understood by computer without any translation 19th one is mnemonic code and symbolic addresses are used in which programming language and the options are object oriented language non procedural language assembly language and the last one is machine language and the right answer is mnemonic code and symbolic addresses are used in assembly programming language and 20th one is which translator does not save object code after translation of source program written in high level language and the options are translator compiler assembler and the last one is interpreter and the right answer is interpreter translator does not save object code after translation of source program written in high level language and 21st one is process of finding and correcting errors in a program is called dash and the options are compilation coding debugging and the last one is documentation and the right answer is process of finding and correcting errors in a program is called debugging and 22nd one is c is a dash purpose programming language and the options are special general objective and the last one is none of these and the right answer is c is a general purpose programming language and 23rd one is which of the following is not a valid example of identifier and the options are roll underscore number percentage underscore marks roll number and the last one is mean and the right answer is percentage underscore marks is not a valid example of identifier and 24th one is which of the following are the tokens and the options are keyword special symbol literal and the last one is all of these and the right answer is all of these are called token and here's one is which of the following keywords do not represent a data type and the options are inert float constant and the last one is char and the right answer is constant keywords do not represent a data type and 26th one is dash are used to describe a code in the program 
and their options are compiler, comment, lateral, and the last one is identifier. And the right answer is comments are used to describe a code in the program. And 27th one is the symbols which are used to perform some specific type of operation on data are called and the options are operand, operator, expression and the last one is formulas. And the right answer is the symbols which are used to perform some specific type of operation on data are called operators. 28th one is which operator act only on one operand and the options are unary, binary, ternary and the last one is conditional and the right answer is unary operator acts only on one operand. 29th one is which of the following is not a logical operator and the options are and or equality and the last one is not. And the right answer is equality is a not a logical operator. And 30th one is which symbol is used for ternary operator. And the options are colon, question mark, semicolon, question mark, question mark, semicolon. And the last one is question mark, semicolon. And the right answer is question mark, colon, symbol is used for ternary operator. 31st one is which of the following cannot be considered as assignment operator and the options are equal, double equal, plus equal and percentage equal and the right answer is double equal symbol cannot be considered as assignment operator. So now we will learn about fill in the blanks. So each fill in the blank carry one one marks. The first one is for creating website clean and fresh dash should be prioritize and the right answer is design. Second one is it has been learned from a research that ordinary user scan web pages in dash pattern and the right answer is F pattern. Third one is HTML is used to organize text images and other web pages dash into web pages and the right answer is elements. Fourth one is by using dash, the design of website and web pages can be designed in a very simple and effective way. And the right answer is cascading style sheet. Fifth one is dash helps to select and set HTML element. And the right answer is selector helps to select and set HTML element. Sixth one is dash allows us to view and access website on the internet. And the right answer is web browser allow us to view and access website on the internet. Seventh one is action or activity of buying goods or services over the internet is known as dash and the right answer is online shopping. Eighth one is dash is a web based tool that enables users to locate information on the world wide web and the right answer is search engine. And ninth one is in closing a search term within dash prompt the search engine to search for that specific word or phrase and the right answer is quotation mark and tenth one is without a subscription with dash we won't have a connection to the internet and the right answer is internet service provider eleventh one is dash corrupt the computer system and the right answer is malware twelfth one is dash is a digital code which is used to transmit or verify document online and the right answer is digital signature. Thirteenth one is antivirus software keeps our computer safe from dash and the right answer is virus. Fourteenth one is dash act as secure wall in the computer system and the right answer is firewall. Fifteenth one is any unauthorized person alerts the website with the use of dash and the right answer is cyber attack. Sixteenth one is URL of server connected with internet are stored at dash and the right answer is world wide web. And seventeenth one is dash is the process of inspecting hardware on a regular basis to ensure it stays in good running order and the right answer is preventive maintenance. Eighteenth one is a dash is software that a device uses to work with our PC. And the right answer is device driver. Nineteenth one is a dash is a physical docking point using which an external device can be connected to the computer. 
and the right answer is port. And 20th one is a dash is the combination of typeface and other qualities such as size, pitch and spacing. And the right answer is font. 21st one is using dash we can end our window session, save our stuff and quit programs but window remains on and ready for other people to use the computer. And the right answer is log off. And 22nd one is a person who writes the program is called dash and the right answer is programmer. And 23rd one is low level internal details of hardware are required for programming in dash and the right answer is low level. 24th one is dash is the pictorial representation of algorithm and the right answer is flowchart. 25th one is process of translating source program written in high level language into object code is called dash and the right answer is compilation and 26th one is those errors which are not detected by the compilers are called dash errors and the right answer is logical errors and 27th one is dash are the smallest individual units of a program and the right answer is tokens are the smallest individual unit of a program and 28th one is the names given to program elements such as variable, constant, arrays, function, etc. is called dash and the right answer is identifier. And 29th one is those program elements which do not allow changing their value during executions are called dash and the right answer is constant. And 30th one is to work with single precision value we use dash data type and the right answer is float. 31st one is file extension of header files is dash and the right answer is dot h and 32nd one is dash are the data item on which operator can perform operations and the right answer is operands and 33rd one is unary operators act on only dash operand and the right answer is 1 34th one is dash arithmetic operator perform only on integer operands and the right answer is modulus and 35th one is when values of one type is converted into some other type it is called dash and the right answer is type conversion and 36th one is ternary operator is also known as dash and the right answer is conditional operator so we will now learn about very short answer type questions so each question carry one one marks so the first one is write the full name of w3c and the full name of w3 is world wide web consortium second one is write the full name of css the full name of css is cascading style sheet third one is what is the extension of the external css file so the extension of the external css file is dot css the fourth one is in which tag internal dot css is defined in the html web page and the right answer is in the link section and fourth one fifth one is write the full name of wysi wyz so the full name of viz i viz is called what you see is what you get and the sixth one is a company that provide internet connection and services to individuals and organization is known as dash and the right answer is internet service provider Seventh one is what is the full form of HTTPS? So the full form of HTTPS is Hypertext Transfer Protocol over Secure Socket Layer. And eighth one is which tool is used to search only for job? And the right answer is job search engine. And the ninth one is what is the method of saving a web page address called? And the right answer is bookmarks. And the tenth one is name any one free open content online encyclopedia and the right answer is wikipedia.com 11th one is when first it act comes into and the right answer is 17th october 2000 and the 12th one is name any two antiviruses so the right answer is avg avira avast and last one is quick hit the 13th question is write full form of CERT hyphen in. 
So the full form of CERT in is Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. Fourteenth one is write the complete form of ITA 2000. So the complete form of ITA 2000 is Information Technology Act 2000. And the fifteenth one is related information of a particular item may be treated as and the right answer is record. And sixteenth one is the collection of files or tables is known as dash and the right answer is database. Seventeenth one is DBMS stand for and the right answer is database management system. Eighteenth question is who are the group of people who actually work on the designing part of the database and the right answer is designer. And the nineteenth one is who maintains the DBMS and are responsible for administrating the database and the right answer is database administrator and the twentieth one is which operator causes its operand to be increased by one and the right answer is increment operator and the twenty first one is which operator are used to test the relationship between two variables and the right answer is relational operator and twenty second one is write all the arithmetic operators used in C programming and the right answer is plus minus asterisk forward slash and the last one is percentage and 23rd one is which operator returns the size of its operand in bytes and the right answer is size of operator and the 24th one is write the name of two ways of type conversion and the right answer is implicit and explicit conversion and 25th one is how many relational operators are present in C language and the right answer is 6. So now we will learn about full forms. So each full form carries one mark. So the first one is PNP. PNP stands for plug and play. Second one is USB. USB stands for universal serial bus. Third one is VGA. VGA stands for video graphics adapter. Fourth one is USC. USC stands for user account control. Fifth one is OS. OS stands for operating system. Sixth one is NAP. NAP stands for network access protection. Seventh one is opcode. Opcode stands for operation code. Eighth one is operand. Operand stands for operation address. Ninth one is 4GL. 4GL stands for fourth generation language. Tenth one is SQL. SQL stands for structured query language. Eleventh one is OOP. OOP stands for object oriented programming. Twelfth one is Fortran. Fortran stands for formula translation. Thirteenth one is BCPL. BCPL stands for Basic Combined Programming Language. Fourteenth one is IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Fifteenth one is STDIO.H, which stands for Standard Input Output Header File. And sixteenth one is Corning.H, which stands for Console Input Output Header File. And seventeenth one is ASCII. ASCII stands for American Standard Code. For information interchange. So now we will learn about true or false. So each true or false carry one one marks each. So the first one is collection of related record of number of different student can be treated as database. Wrong. Second one is the database is used to retrieve, insert, and delete the data efficiently. Right. Third one is DBMS is a computerized record keeping system. Right. Fourth one is database management system is hardware. Wrong. Fifth one is database management system is used to manage the database. Right. So now we will learn about short answer type questions. So each question carry four four marks. So the first question is write the basic structure of HTML. The HTML document begins with HTML opening tag and ends with HTML closing tag. So, structure of HTML document can be divided into two main parts. The first one is head part. This part begins with head opening tag and ends with head closing tag. This part contains the title and metadata of the HTML document. The second one is body part. This part begins with body opening tag and ends with body closing tag. This part contains all those content that are displayed on the web page. And second question is write various website development phases. And the answer is following can be the various phases of website development. 
the first one is information gathering second one is planning third one is design fourth one is development fifth one is testing and delivery sixth one is maintenance and third question is write the role of html in the web and the answer is html plays an important role in web designing web would not be possible without html html is the default language for designing website html code is used to design static web pages this code is understood by the web browser web browser make the html code viewable and display it on our computer screen and fourth question is what css is used for and the answer is css stands for cost accounting style sheet it is a simple web designing language which is used to make web page design simple and effective in simple word we can say that it is a language to design web pages which is used to improve the look and feel of a web page css is easy to learn and understand it is commonly used to build websites with html if question is define web browser so web browser is an application software we can easily access the website over the internet with the help of brow web browser it helps user to find web pages to access them and to display them on screen for using website user have to provide the url of sites in the address bar of the browser internet explorer google chrome firefox opera etc are the example of commonly used web browsers sixth question is what is the use of quotation marks in online search so during online search when we enclose the search term in quotation mark the search engine will find only that particular term or phrase on the web and will not show the similar term in the search result for example if we begin our online search by typing the term movie director the search engine may show a lot of results similar to movie director movie director or film director etc but if we begin our search by enclosing the search term in quotation mark that is in the double quote write the movie director search engine will show result only related to that particular term that is movie director and seventh question is name any five internet security threats so following are the common internet security threats the first one is hacker second one is viruses third one is spyware fourth one is worms fifth one is phishing sixth one is spam and the eighth question is explain google search engine so google search engine is the best search engine in the world it is one of the most popular product of google google has become one of the most popular and trusted search engine in terms of quality of search result google is using a sophisticated algorithm to deliver the best result to its users google is founded by larry page and sergey brin ninth question is what is bookmark so bookmark are also known as favorites web addresses can be saved with the help of bookmark so that whenever we have to open that web address again we can quickly reopen it without having to type it again all web browser offer the option to save the web addresses so internet explorer is the only web browser that uses the word favorite to save a web address in mozilla firefox google chrome etc this option is called bookmark to set a bookmark click on star in the web browser address bar and tenth question is defined world wide web the world wide web is also known as web or w3 it is a huge collection of different type of information it includes all public website that are connected to the internet world wide each website or page is assigned a unique name or address called a url which is known as uniform resource locator so information stored on the www can be viewed with the help of web browser such as internet explorer mozilla firefox etc so world wide web uses http protocol to transfer the content of web pages and 11th question is explain the application area of dbms some of the dbms application areas are listed below the first one is dbms is used to store 
student records in education institutions second one is dbms is used to store bank customer information third one is dbms is used to store call record monthly bill etc information in the telecommunication sector fourth one is dbms is used to track the production and supply of goods in the manufacturing sector fifth one is dbms is used to store reservation and schedule information in the tours and travel industry and the 12th question is define about dbms working so dbms stand for database management system it is basically a computerized record keeping system a dbms store data in a way that makes it easy to retrieve information modify data and create information a dbms has many different type of users and each user can have different rights to perform different type operation on the database the different user use the database for different purposes for example some user retrieve data and some takes it as backup the third question is what do you mean by end user a dbms has many different type of users and each user can have different rights to perform different type of operation on the database and user is a type of dbms user it include those user who actually benefit from dbms and user can range from general audience to intelligent users like business analyst and the 14th question is define the two tier dbms architecture in D in dbms and the answer is dbms has different type of architecture such as one tier architecture two tier architecture and three tier architecture etc so dbms two tier architecture incorporates an application layer between the user and the dbms this layer is responsible for forwarding the user request to the database management system and then transmit the response from the dbms to the user the 15th question is what is cloud database a cloud database is a database that typically runs on a cloud computing platform internet is used to access cloud database and the cloud database services can be accessed in two ways the first one is in the first method an organization purchases virtual machine space from a cloud service provider and stores the database on the cloud it staff is used by the organization to control the database in this system the organization is responsible for monitoring and managing the database and second one is in the second method the organizations makes a subscription based agreement with the cloud service provider the database is stored on the cloud server but the cloud service provider allows the database to be used as a service and the 16th question is what why c is called middle level programming language so c has the functionality of both types of programming language that is low level and high level programming languages it means c language is suitable for writing both type of program that is system program and application program the c language become a programming language that stood between both low level and high level programming languages that's why c language called middle level language however the middle level language is not a special category of programming languages because of the special capability of the c language it is known as middle level programming language the 17 question is what is a character set the set of all characters and symbols used in c language is called the character set of c language the c language supports the ascii character set the following character and symbols can be used in c language the first one is upper case and lower case alphabet alphabet the first one is upper case and lower case alphabet that is a to z in upper case and a to z in the small case the second one is digit from 0 to 9 a special symbol for example exclamation at the rate hash dollar percentage caret dot question mark forward slash pipe back slash etc and the fourth one is some known printable character for example new line horizontal tab etc and the 18th question is what are keywords 
so t words are also called reserve words these words are predefined in c compiler the meaning of these word is predefined they are used for the specific purpose for which they were defined we cannot change their meaning in turbo c these words are shown in white color while in code block these words are shown in blue color the standard c language has 32 keywords for example peanut float void if else for while etc in c programming all keywords are written in lower case letters only and the 19th question is what should be the steps for creating and executing c program the following steps can be used to create a c program the first one is develop a program algorithm and the second one is create a c program as per the algorithm using any text editor or ide that supports c language third one is save the file by writing a file name with dot c extension fourth one is compile the program fifth one is if the program has a syntax error correct it and repeat step number 4 and sixth one is execute the program and seventh one is output of program will appear in the output window and the 20th question is write the difference between variable and constant so both of these are important program elements that are used to store a value in a program both elements are given a name in the program and the type of value to be stored in them but there is a slight difference between the two variable allow us to change their values while running a program whereas constant do not allow it it means constant values are fixed while variable values are changeable and 21st question is what are preprocessor directives preprocessor instructions are those statement that begins with the hash symbol these statement gives instruction to the compiler to perform some specific operations before compilation these directive statements are commonly used to include header files in the program or to define symbolic constants so here are some example of commonly used preprocessor the first one is hash include left angle bracket stdio.h then close the right angle bracket and the second one is hash define space pi then space 3.14 and the 22nd question is define expression so expression is like a formula in mathematics an expression can be any valid combination of operators and operand a valid combination is a combination that confirm the syntax rules of the c language expression always return some value after evaluation for example x equal to y into z then semicolon a 23rd question is what is operand operands are data item on which operator can work these operand can be variable or constant values for example a plus 5 into 10 so in this example operators plus and asterisk are doing they work on a variable a constant value 5 and 10 here a 5 and 10 are the operands and the 34th one is what is unary operator so operators that require only one operand to perform the operations are called unary operator for example plus plus minus minus exclamation and tilde operator etc the following example uses increment unary operator like in at x equal to 10 then semicolon then plus plus x semicolon so here plus plus increment operator is a unary operator that perform its operation at only single operand so this operator will increase the value of x y one unit and makes its value from 10 to 11 and 25th question is define conditional operator conditional operator is also known as ternary operator this operator requires three operand to perform its operation so its symbols is question mark colon are used to represent conditional or unary operator 
the syntax for using this operator is as follows expression 1 question mark expression 2 then colon then expression 3 then semicolon so expression 1 should be a conditional expression that always returns a true 1 or false result if the result of expression 1 is true then expression 2 will perform its function otherwise expression 3 will perform its function and 26 question is what a type conversion in C language the values of an expression can be changed to a specific type of data type as required when one type of value is converted to another type of value it is called type conversion so in C language this conversion can be done in two ways the first one is implicit conversion and second one is explicit conversion and 27th question is what is an operator write the name of different types of operators so operators are the symbols that are used to perform specific operations on data for example we use plus symbols to perform addition operation an asterisk symbol is used to multiply then a right angle bracket symbol is used to compare etc so in these example plus asterisk and right angle bracket symbols are used that represent various type of operation so all operations returns a value after performing their operations so operator can be divided into the following three types the first one is unary operator second one is binary operator and third one is ternary operator and 28th question is write about increment and decrement operator the increment and decrement operators are the unary operator the plus plus sign is used for the increment operator and the minus minus sign is used for the decrement operator the increment operator increases the value of its operand by one while the decrement operator decreases the value of its operand by one the operand used with this operator must be a variable they cannot be applied directly to a fixed value for example inert x equal to 10 semicolon then plus plus x semicolon it will increase the value of x to 11 similarly minus minus x uh, semicolon it will decrease the value of x that is 10 to 9 so now we will learn about long answer type questions so each question carries 6 6 mark so first question is what are cyber attack describe five type of cyber attack so in the world of the internet all those activities or attempts that harm online computer network or computer based system with the help of internet are classified as cyber attack so here are some of the major cyber attack first one is piracy in this type of cyber attack a person sells copied or downloaded software or other content in the market without the approval and consent of their original owner second one is web checking in this type of cyber attack hacker hacks website for personal gain and alter the information on websites and third one is salami attack in this type of cyber attack a small amount of money is transferred to attackers account from the account of a person after regular short time intervals and fourth one is stalking in this type of cyber attack a person sends messages or inappropriate content to another person against their will using internet application or social media fifth one is hacking in this type of cyber attack hacker tamper someone computers or social media account or a website in one way or another way the second question is describe the causes of cyber attack in detail so following are some common causes of cyber attack the first one is easy access to the internet nowadays the internet has become very easy to use people are unknowingly sharing their in personal information on the internet in a variety of ways doing so empower cyber criminal to carry out cyber attacks second one is lack of technical knowledge so people are using the internet easily but most of them do not have any technical knowledge about it 
such people get caught up in cyber attackers behavior by providing their confidential information on unknown links or sites and third one is known use of security and privacy so most people do not use any kind of security or privacy when using the internet which makes cyber criminal easy to harm their online accounts and fourth one is criminal wisdom or feeling of revenge cyber attacks are also on the rise due to the criminal intelligence and revenge of many people nowadays fifth one is ignorance of it crime and laws the number of cyber attacks is also increasing because most of the people do not have knowledge of it crimes and related laws and third question is what is malware describe five types of malware the word malware is made up of a combination of two english word mal and ware the word mal is derived from the word malicious and the word ware is derived from software thus we can say that a group of software is called malware which is created to infect or damage a computer based system in one form or another so computer viruses are a common example of malware so here are some common type of malware the first one is computer viruses these malware softwares come into a computer and infect our data and computer system second one is adware these malware software enters in the computer system without permission and silently sends user confidential information to the cyber criminals through the internet this is how the software act like a spy and third one is ransomware these malware software lock the entire computer system or any important document the cyber criminal then demand a ransom for unlocking the computer or document fourth one is trojan horse these malware software initially behaves in a user friendly way with the computer user and later take control of the computer from the real user and hands it over to the cyber criminal and the fifth one is browser hacking these malware software hack the user web browser change the browser setting without any consent and automatically open some website on the browser and the fourth question is what is cyber security describe five type of cyber security techniques so a variety of techniques are used to prevent cyber attack these different techniques are collectively called cyber security so here are some key cyber security technique the first one is authentication this cyber security technique allows a computer user to determine who can use his computer system and who cannot second one is strong password this cyber security technique uses a username and password to access a system password must be complex and strong so that hacker cannot break or steal them and third one is encryption this cyber security technique converts the data that user sends over the network into unrecognizable special symbols so that nobody nobody can interpret data during transmission and fourth one is antivirus it is a software that protect our computer from any kind of viruses it is also called anti malware this software prevent viruses from entering into our computer and even if virus enters into the system it remove viruses by scanning the computer system AVG, Avira, Norton, etc., are some of the popular antivirus softwares. And the fifth one is firewall. This cyber security protect computer and computer network from viruses or any other type of cyber attack. It is a strong wall that protect our computer from all kind of malware and does not allow any unauthorized person to access our computer. And the fifth question is what is IT Act 2000 describe its features so keeping in view about cyber threats government of india had passed on government of india had passed an act on 17 october 2000 to legalize the use of information technology which was named as IT Act 2000 
2000. This act is also known as ITA 2000. Some of the silent features of this act are, the first one is, digital signature is legally recognized in this act. This act gives full recognition to financial transaction made through electronic means. Third one is, this act deals exclusively with cyber crime and electronic commerce. And fourth one is, this act gives legal recognition to online submission of forms by government offices and agencies. Fifth one is, the act established a cyber appeal regulation tribunal which deals with cyber appeals. And sixth one is, according to this act, a hearing against the order of the cyber appeal regulation tribunal can be held only in the Supreme Court. And the sixth question is, what are low level programming language? Explain their advantages and disadvantages. So machine and assembled language are called low level languages. So these are explained below. The first one is machine language. Machine language is also called binary language. It is the fundamental language of computer system because it is understood directly by the computer system. The computer does not require any translation to understand this language. This language is made up of only two binary digits, that is 0 and 1. Second one is assembly language. This language is also called symbolic language because it uses the symbolic names of the instruction instead of the binary code. The symbolic name of the assembly language instructions can be easily remembered. So the advantages of low level languages are the first one is these languages can communicate or interact directly with computer hardware and the second one is these languages work faster than computers and disadvantages of machine language are the first one is for programming in low level languages the programmer needs to know the internal structure of the hardware second one is programs created in low level language are machine dependent and the seventh question is what are language translator explain any one translator in detail so language translator are also called language processor. These are system program. The purpose of developing language translator is to accomplish two main tasks. First, to translate source program into object code. And second, to detect syntax error in the source program. Each language has its own translator program that can only translate program written in that particular language. Example of language translators are assembler, compiler, and interpreter. So the first one is assembler. This is a language translator that converts program written in assembly language into machine language. A program written in assembly language is called a source program. This source program cannot be directly understood by the computer. Therefore, it is necessary to translate it into a machine understandable format. It is the assembler that converts the source program of the assembly language into a machine understandable program. The code generated after translation is called the object program which is used to execute the program. And the next question is what is algorithm? Explain the different features that an algorithm should have. So creating algorithm is a basic requirement in computer programming. This is a step by step description of how to solve a given problem. An algorithm has limited steps and it should always produce some right or wrong result. Before creating a program, a programmer first sets the algorithm. So an algorithm should have the following features. The first one is every step must be accurate. Every step should be clear, which means it should not be ambiguous. And third one is input and output should be carefully determined. Fourth one is steps should not be repeated indefinitely. Fifth one is after implementing the step, the required output should be obtained in any case. And the ninth question is explain different types of error found in the computer programs. So there are two common type of errors in the program. The first one is syntax error. These are the errors that occur 
when we develop program that do not follow the rules or syntax of programming languages. These types of errors are automatically detected by compilers during the compilation process. A program cannot be successfully compiled until all syntax error in the program have been corrected. Some example of syntax error in C language are missing semicolon, variable not declared, etc. And the second type of error are logical errors. So these errors occur when there are the error in the logic of the program. If there are logical error in our program, it will be successfully compiled, but it will produce incorrect result or output. Such errors cannot be detected by the compiler. These errors can be easily found with the help of debugging tools. So student, I hope you have well practiced the 1-1 one -one marks, 4-4 four -four marks and 6-6 six -six marks question answer from lesson 1 to lesson 8 in this video so far. I hope you will get 50 out of 50 marks in this exam. Thank you.